Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is my channel where we talk about all things brick and mortar retail. I give you tons of tips and tricks to level up your current small business, or if you're just getting started, all the things you need to get your brick and mortar open. But today, let me tell you guys, I am gonna share with you a crazy week that I had and a huge fail <laughs> that luckily turned into something amazing. And at the end of this video, I will share with you how it turned out and the greatest life hack for retailers that ended up coming from this huge fail. So I decided that I wanted to rip all of the racks off of my walls this week huge project and completely start over. I've been in business 13 years and we have never changed the racking systems inside of my store. When I first opened, I actually stole this design from Zara. I don't know if you've ever been into Zara, but they have a very particular way they have their racks. It is two out facing and one little section of clothes in the middle. And I loved that because it allowed the out facing um, racks to really showcase fully styled outfits with clothing behind it, and then a little curated section in the middle. So when I wanted to create this, I went to Home Depot, I bought a bunch of piping, sat on the floor, put it all together like a jigsaw puzzle until I got it right. And it worked for me for years. It was beautiful, customers loved it. But once we started to become more high volume, it just did not work for me. I was actually in Azara yesterday and it was during a sale time and the store looked like a hot mess because with those racks, things get all jumbled if you are doing high volume. So eventually I ended up taking off those outfacing racks and just doing long racks um, of clothing, which is great for high volume because you can just restock, do it by color, easy peasy on your way. The problem with that though, and especially in a time like now where people are very overwhelmed, people are indecisive because of economy issues, when they walked into my store and just saw huge racks of clothing and racks and racks, they felt very overwhelmed. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I am super into watching how consumers interact with my space. And I think it's so important to pay attention to that and ebb and flow and change if you um, see that people are not interacting with your space in meaningful ways, which then turn into sales. So all of a sudden I'm like, light bulb, things have to change. So we decided to do a more modular system, something that would have more shelves. We can do smaller um, racks during summertime. I could have more long racks for maxi dresses, winter, you know, shorter double racks for um, separates, and then co-mingle in a bunch of um, accessories to really break up the eye. I thought I was a genius, y'all. This was the idea. So I searched the internet and guess what? All of the store supply websites, everything was ugly. Ugly, y'all. It was like gross grays, dark colors, super industrial. And I don't know if you see, but I'm bright and white and colorful. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna have to make this dang thing. So I went to Home Depot. I bought the standards that go on the wall. I had all this wood custom cut to match my dressing rooms. And I bought industrialized bars from the store supply warehouses to commingle, use that word again, uh, with these racks. I no lie, thought I was a genius, you guys. So, and they're all called double, uh, dual standards across the board. At Home Depot, Lowe's, store supply warehouses. So hence why you would think everything would go together, right? Fast forward to Monday and we decided to close, rip all of my racks off of the walls, which were permanent in the walls, right? So rip them all off. We had to patch and paint and it was just this huge thing in the entire store. And then once the paint dried, we went to go put the racks up. And y'all, none of them fit. The things didn't fit together. The clothing rack did not fit into the standard that I bought from Home Depot. And I am not kidding you, this is like three o'clock on Monday and I'm, I like, we're a high volume store. So every single day that we're closed is 
a problem. It actually like hardcore affects our bottom line. So in my mind, we were gonna be closed for one day. And all of a sudden, I have nothing. I have nothing on my walls. So obviously full freak out. I had just spent like $1,200 on all of these racks and whatnot. They all had to be returned. I legit was here till 10 o'clock at night fixing, you know, the store so that we could open in the morning. We just put everything on rolling racks, pushed it against the wall, made it look the best we could. And then it was gonna buy us some time for me to figure out what the heck to do next. Darn well knowing that I had just spent a month researching all of these things of how to do a modular and could not find it. Here's the good part, and I cannot wait to share this with you. We're gonna pan out and show you what I figured out, the best retail hack, in my opinion, that's out there. So we turned a really bad, crazy situation, and within a week, I now have beautiful racks inside of my store, and they're from Ikea. Ikea. I cannot believe it because it was so cheap. I did my entire store for $900. Like, and, I, and we're gonna have so many parts and pieces left over. So I wanna show you guys exactly what I mean by this. So um, we can go over here. So you can see how we did this is we Ikea shelves, and then it has this great tracking on the wall. So the track just put, you know, five or six screws into the wall, definitely use heavy anchors because it's commercial, but then you have these great shelves. And so the only problem is I am gonna have to paint over the Ikea thing, um, but that's an easy fix. So these shelves are great because they come in tons of different colors. We got it in this light wood to match our floors, to match our dressing rooms. And then you can just pop these clothing pieces in. So if you just wanna use it as a shelf or you wanna use it as a clothing rack, you can do that and it it is so easy. My girls immediately when they came in, Got it, click, click, click. So like I said, we you see I have a double here for separates, but then you can also have, you know, the longer pieces here for longer pieces. And then for the consumer, we can do these accessories that will break up the um, clothing. So when people walk in, they're not seeing a huge wall of clothing, right? It breaks up the eye. It also helps people to impulse buy better because it's in between all of these clothing. And you guys, Ikea saved the day. I was freaking out and this turned out so much better than I imagined. This is way more beautiful than what I was trying to do, doing custom and whatnot. I will link the Ikea setup underneath in the description and, uh, you know, gotta just stay positive in small business. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. I try and be super real with you guys and show you all the all the craziness of small business, but I also like to tell you how it resolves. So hopefully you all can get something out of this. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll talk soon. Have you ever dreamed of opening your own clothing store? Would you love to be a larger part of your local community? Or maybe you already have an online shop, but want to take the leap into a physical location. Well, join me as I pull back the curtain on all things brick and mortar. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on how to grow and thrive in your own retail storefront.